Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Nobody's and welcome back to our guide on the Rimworld of Magic with our dear friend Bug Bug. Today, Bug Bug's helping us take a look at the Gladiator class. The Gladiator is another really decent melee combatant class that takes a different approach to getting around than the Blade Dancer. They're also a bit tankier because they have the Fortitude ability, mitigates a set amount of damage per hit, which is pretty nice. So, with Fortitude Power, it increases damage mitigation by one point per skill. With Versatility, increases damage to stamina conversion by 0.5 stamina per damage per level. So, what Fortitude appears to do is take damage to your stamina instead of your health. Let's, um, so let's just level us up a couple of times, and we're gonna stick a point into Fortitude Power. And we're just gonna go pick a fight with a nearby badger or something. Actually, we've got some frost ave here. Hey, chicken, come here. Here we go. Did that? I didn't notice, okay. We're just gonna keep fighting these chicken. Hopefully they fight back eventually. Have I even been hit? Come on, you stupid goddamn chicken. We need a stronger opponent. Found a mega sloth. That'll work. Yes! It is indeed true that as we get hit, our stamina goes down. Okay. <laughs> Aww. Poor Mega Sloth. He's just looking at us like, why? All right, but aside from just having fortitude, gladiators have the really useful ability, sprint. Activate or deactivate the sustained combat skill sprint, greatly increases the movement speed, but causes exhaustion. Requires 30 stamina and reduces stamina regen by 20%. And I think what it means by causes exhaustion is it actually lowers your rest, but we can't really test that on bug bug. So let's call in a friend. All right, that took an annoyingly long amount of time. This is our orc friend, Gur. Gur, as you can see, does not yet have a class. So let's go ahead and make him a gladiator. We've got our gem of physical insight, as well as our book on gladiatoring. So we'll just use and read. And now Gur is a gladiator. As we can see, his rest is going down over time. And if we just sort of speed things up, We can see that his rest is just slowly depleting at times three speed. It looks like it's going down about 3% every five seconds at three times speed. Let's kick on sprint and we're at 77%. All right. It doesn't seem to increase the rate at which he gets tired. All right, Gur, thank you for your help. All right, well, that was obnoxious. Now that Gur's out of the picture, this is about how fast Bug Bug normally moves on a day-to-day -day basis. As you can see, it's, uh, you know, he's a bit slow, doesn't get around too fast. A respectable speed, but still could be better. Let's click on Sprint. And that's, uh, that's a bit better, right? Oh, even have a nice destination point. So that tree there, over to that tree there, turn off sprint and run back. So personally, not horribly noticeably, but still a bit better. What if we go ahead and whack that speed straight up? Let's see here. Ah, it does increase tiredness, just, you know, um, at zero level, maybe not that noticeably. What's sprint efficiency? Reduces stamina cost to sustain. Ah. Okay, so let's go ahead and kick his speed all the way up. This is currently without sprint. And now turning sprint on. 
All right, that is that is noticeably faster. That is fantastic. We So, other than Fortitude and Sprint, the Gladiator gets access to Cleave. Cleave executes a powerful sweeping blow that can strike multiple enemies adjacent to the target. As long as the Gladiator has enough stamina, this ability works automatically whenever the Gladiator performs a melee attack. Cleave Chance is calculated from Weapon Mass. Heavier weapons are more likely to cleave. Now, of course, we're just using a little knife right now because that's all you would get at the beginning of the game. And we can make cleave attacks deal more percentage damage, cost less stamina, and increase the chance that it hits an additional enemy. So let's go ahead and whack this straight up because we're not here. We're not here to uh, for these low probabilities. We're here for the real thing. Where's that crowd of chickens? These Ave are about to meet the real bug bug. All right, we just want to get them nice and bunched up and also click that power on. So this is a left click power, you know, but it's a it's a toggle power, just like the others. Come on, chickens. Come on, you damn chickens. Fight me. 1v1 me, chicken. Okay, well, uh, apparently they are just 1v1-ing me. Um. Alright, I think I have an answer to this. Look at that. A band of moon elves are just wandering through our base. Hello? Are they not gonna turn on us? There it goes. All right, Bug Bug, let's get him. Hello? You know, I'm actually not very fond of some of these powers. Oh, one of the corrections I need to issue actually affects one of the uh, other abilities we have. So, I said when you right-click these powers that they'd be used in combat. Apparently, that's not 100% true. So, when you set the characters from flee, between flee, ignore, and fight, um, this makes it so that when enemy combatants are nearby, they'll do one of these three things when they're not drafted. And apparently, the, when you have them set to attack is when this right-click ability matters. Speaking of our right-click abilities, of course, Bug Bug has his own, his being Grapple. Forcefully hooks and yanks an opponent to the gladiator, followed by a violent leg sweep, knocking the opponent down. Also known as that thing that Scorpion does in Mortal Kombat. Let's take a look. <laughs> okay, the graphics for it are a bit pathetic, really, but... <laughs> it's just the summon ability with much less range. I'm assuming that as you level it up, it gets longer range just a little bit. That's a decently much longer range, actually. So we can come up here and we can go, come here, you chicken. This chicken. Bam. Does it damage them? It does not appear to. Or it doesn't do much damage. Now, there's a classic ability back here from the Blade Dancer. We got the Whirlwind Attack. The Gladiator launches into a frenzied attack, dancing forward in a furious whirlwind of steel and death. All right, steel and death sound fun. Let's do it. Oh? Oh, holy shit. Okay, was not expecting that one, actually. Excuse me, chicken. Please fuck off. Okay, uh, yeah, I was just like, expecting a spin attack around him. That was fantastic. So we just go whirlwind and boom. So with that, you definitely want to target the farthest enemy possible. And of course we have power, uh, which does damage. Efficiency, which decreases cost. And versatility, adds a chance to knock down enemies by 5% for each skill rank. Nice. Now, looking at this list, you might think that these are all of the abilities that the gladiator himself gets. And you know what? Were I a lazier man, 
I would assume the same, but it's actually not. There is a hidden ability that the game does not tell you about, but you can find spawning in shops and so on. This is the grand challenge. They send a mocking challenge to all pawns in the area, greatly reducing aim aiming and casting speed for all affected pawns for a brief time, but having no effect on pure melee classes. So it sounds like he just makes fun of casters, which of course, why wouldn't you? Oh, that's got a decent range. All right, so we've reached out to a neighboring Kobold settlement for a bit of help with this demonstration here. As you can see, we've got Cruzen here. Cruzen is an arcanist, which, if we remember, has the ability Magic Missile. So let's go ahead and see just how long that takes to cast. So it takes a couple of seconds to cast. It's casting time 2.5 seconds. Okay. All right. And now we're going to step back here and have Bug Bug challenge him. Bug Bug Grand Challenge, go! Dazed. So let's take a look. Dazed increases aim time by 200%, but doesn't actually affect casting time. Oh yeah, significantly. I like it. Okay. So yeah, that makes the gladiator like really, really good if you're getting surrounded by a bunch of range dudes and casters. <laughs> Look at all the fucking injuries he has. But yeah, if you're getting surrounded by a bunch of range dudes and casters, that makes the gladiator really important. Now, of course, my question is not how good is he in combat, because I'm a colony builder. So how good are these guys in colony building? Well, none of their abilities particularly help you in colony building. Now, they've got sprint, which you would think that's really good for colony building. If you have a person who's immune to fatigue, he's fine. But if a person gets tired, well, they're gonna get tired constantly as a gladiator. Sprint efficiency does not decrease the tiredness debuff. Sprint power increases the tiredness debuff. As we can see at its highest level, it increases his moving by 60%, blood pumping by 20%, breathing by 25%, and tiredness by 1.25. Now 1.25 isn't too bad but I think they'd spend enough time running back to base to rest that it wouldn't be that helpful. Now, I would still argue that having a gladiator is better than not having a gladiator because, of course, what we've already seen. These guys, very good in combat. Very good at not just defending your base, but going raiding if you're absolutely doing that thing. And I mean, like, also, how goddamn funny is this ability? That is the funniest goddamn teleportation ability I've seen. All right, so that's gonna be it for now. If you're interested in checking out RimWorld of Magic, go ahead down to the description below where you should find a link to it. As well, don't forget to check out the rest of the guide videos on the other classes of RimWorld of Magic. As well, we're talk we talk about the effect of skills and what exactly might and magic are. Also, if you're interested in uh, chatting with a bunch of people who are interested in RimWorld of Magic. Don't forget to check out the Discord down in the description, as well as I stream every night from 8 p.m. till 2 a.m. thereabout. And we use RimWorld of Magic no matter what playthrough we're doing, because RimWorld of Magic just adds so much to the game. But in the meantime, just remember, nobody's cares. Thank you very much and good night. Wait, you don't have a bet? Everybody has a bed. Oh my god, you're literally the only person without a fucking bed. Oh. Oh, what is Jason doing? Oh my god, no! Um, um. Oh my god, no! No! Fuck! Yukiko, everybody, please fight that fire! It's <laughs> all I can agree in here! <laughs> Oh no! <laughs>